Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to learn how the interface works. So here we're looking at the interface and why and how you can use it. Notice here I said public interface and then I gave it a name. Normally interface begins with a capital I. Now these three columns that make up my interface, they're saying to anyone that is going to inherit from me, your class must have these columns. Let's look at owner. Owner inherits I named a person. Notice F name, last name, and mobile phone is in there. So when you inherit I name, he said, yeah, I uh, subscribe to that class. Now, if I were to turn this off, that would be an error. And then you see the little, hey, uh, you did not implement the interface. Well, let's be smart. Let's turn it back on. Now, I kind of don't need to go through this one. This is saying, hey, I'm also doing it. And look, first name, last name, and mobile phone. You can have a hundred more other columns. That doesn't matter. As long as you have these for the named interface, you'll be fine. Now, I come inside of my main, and then I implement owners with some data. And notice that I'm just filling in all my fields, right? And he's got three entries. Then when I come and look at my employees, I put four entries in there. But notice here that I have only got one print method. And I get one print method, and notice that I'm sending in each class object that I'm using. But notice that they interface the same one, the, the named a person. So notice here I'm saying print list employee, the name of the variable. Now notice here, this employee goes to this T. And this employee goes to this T. And the name of the variable here is called people. And on the second one, on line 72, Notice order, I mean, owners goes to this T and this T. But here is the clutch. You see this interface? It's telling this, hey, I don't care what your T looks like as long as it implements this interface, these three columns. And then notice that when I loop over my data, what columns are going to be available? You've got it. First name, last name, and a mobile phone. And there you have it. So let's run this little Jesse. Notice I've stepped into the program, hit F10, boss is created, new employee is created. Now we're going to be calling that first print list. Notice that I'm sending in imp, this second one down here, F11. Not a problem. Looping over it, printing my output. Let's get that output so you can see it. Hey, look at there. The employees are just printed. Now let's uh, come back up here, F10. Hey, look at that, a whole different object. Owner now is being set. And look, our employees, our owners, all got printed by the same method. And there you have it. 